Are you looking for a new barbecue grill? Well, I highly recommend the Weber Original Kettle Premium. Not only does it make great food, but it's backed by Weber's amazing customer service and warranty. This grill is the best bang for your buck. And here's my review on the Weber Original Kettle Premium. All right, what distinguishes the Weber Original Kettle versus the Original Kettle Premium? Well, it's all about the features. You get the same gauge grill grades, however, the Premium comes with a fold-up design so you can add more fuel easily. The Premium gives you the one-touch cleaning system with the removable catcher, and I think that alone's worth the upgrade. Now of course, there's more accessories that you can buy, either aftermarket or from Weber. And we're going to go through some of the basics that I think is going to take this grill to the next level. The first one being the charcoal baskets. The charcoal baskets are a cheap accessory that you can buy that will help you improve your two-zone cooking and better control your temperatures. You can set one zone for indirect cooking or smoking and the other zone for high heat searing. Now of course there's other accessories like the slow and sear that will help you master smoking but those are going to cost a bit more. A great aftermarket accessory is the top rack which increases this grill's capacity but my number one recommendation is a charcoal chimney starter. This is going to save you a lot of headache. You should never buy those chemical charcoals that are meant to easily ignite. That stuff just gets in your food. You want a chimney starter that's going to effectively ignite your charcoal, get them at the right temperature, and gets you ready to cook fast and efficiently. Those are the top three basic accessories that you can buy that are budget friendly, but are going to increase this grill's capabilities to a whole nother level. But I wanted to talk to you guys about how well this grill has treated me over the years. I've cooked some amazing stuff, from hamburgers to smoking the best beef ribs you've ever had, and it's done fantastic and treated me well. Alright, what do you say that we cook some food? For this demonstration, I got two New York strip steaks that are ready to be seared. Just check out that fat. The charcoal baskets are working beautifully and help me set up my two-zone cooking. talk about those sides. Another great bargain accessory is a vegetable basket that also acts as a vegetable wok. You can slow cook your vegetables and roast them to perfection or you can saute them under direct heat. Either way, you're going to be really surprised who's coming back for seconds. As long as you treat your barbecue right, it's going to return the favor every single time, guaranteed. There is a bit of a learning curve with the kettle grill, but it's not too bad. Once you get everything dialed in, she holds temperature just fine. Like I said, I've cooked some amazing meals with this barbecue. In this particular case, we got an inch and a half T-bone steak. Just look at how juicy this thing is. And it's grilled to perfection. You really can't go wrong with the original kettle premium. Whether you're smoking some ribs, grilling some burgers, you're good to go. So let's look at the details and the specs of each grill. The grill comes in many different finishes. You have black, copper, and green. I really like the copper color, and I'm glad I picked it up. We've already talked about the features, and I do think they're a legitimate upgrade from the original. And here's the grill specifications. The original and the premium share the exact same grilling specifications. So now, let's check out the original, just for comparison. 
Right off the bat, you can see that you do not get the one-touch cleaning system with the removable catcher. And you don't get the hinged grates for that easy access refueling. I think that's pretty significant, and I think for the price difference, just pick up the premium. Now, I bought my Weber Premium at $150, so occasionally you'll find it on sale at Amazon or Weber's website. At that price, I think it's a no-brainer and I highly recommend it. There's one more thing I want to mention. Weber does offer the Premium in a 26-inch version for those of you that want to cook for a large group. Alright, let's take it home for my final thoughts. Alright, that's it for me guys. This is a fantastic grill, and if you're in the market for a new grill, you should definitely consider the Weber Original Kettle Premium. I love this copper finish. This was my first grill, and I still use it till this day. I'll never let it go. It has too much sentimental value for me, and I can always use it for, you know, other occasions. If you ever get a second house, a summer home, or taking it to the park. So as you guys know, I recently bought the Weber Master Touch Premium. And that was a legitimate update over this grill, but it's a considerable update with an increased price tag. If you guys haven't already, check out my detailed review on the Weber Master Touch Premium, where I actually compared this grill to that grill. And it's a really detailed review. I love the Weber Master Touch Premium. I think it's a great upgrade from this grill. If you have the dough, definitely get that grill. But if you don't, it's okay. This is a great start. My next grill is going to be the Summit Kamado, and I can't wait for that one because I know Weber's going to take care of me, and they make the best products. As long as Weber keeps making great quality products and backing them up with their amazing customer service, I'll keep buying them. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Hey, everybody. How'd you guys like that last video? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of my next video. And if you can, please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Here's some more content that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy. Check them out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.